Hi, welcome back to Mr. Stewart's Lessons. We're continuing to work on our scrolling platform game. We've come pretty far. We have uh, now have a ball guy that can uh, fall and he can run on the platforms and the platforms scroll around him and he gets caught by the platform when he falls. Now what we need to do is make him jump. If you don't have this working so far, for whatever reason, you can go to Mr. Stewart's lessons and download the demo lesson up till now. So go do that right now if you need to get it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make our ball guy jump. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up his code window. All we need, making him jump is pretty easy. All we need to do is increase his up, upward speed. As delta Y is the up and down speed. When it's negative, he's falling. We just need to give him some upward speed when he jumps, when, he, when we, it's time to jump. So I'm just going to put in a uh, keyboard command down here in the keyboard section, in the place where my other keyboard commands are, my left and right key. I'm going to add a new one. If is key down and we're going to put in the up key for going for jumping. You could use the space if you like that better. And all I want to do is I want to his add 15 to his uh, speed to his upward speed. So I'm going to say delta y plus equals 15. That's going to just make him jump. Make him give him some upward speed. And this all by himself itself is going to make him jump, and we'll see what happens when I do it. Put my ball guy in there, and I'm going to run, and he's going to fall, and watch what happens. We'll make him jump, and there he is. He's jumping. That's great. That's exactly what we wanted. But you can see the problem right here, right, which is that I go through the platforms underneath, right, which we don't want to be able to do. I, I want those to stop him. I want him to be able to bounce off them, and so we're going to put that in right now. So this is what we put in right so far if green foot is key down up delta y plus equals 15. What we now need to do is we need to uh, determine whether he's hitting a platform from we already know if he's hitting a platform from the top we want to see if he's there's a platform above him or to the right and left of him. One of the things I'm going to need to do is I need to know if I want to know where he where something is to the right of him I'm going to need to know if uh, it's it's just how far it is to the side of the actor. Um, this actor is square. Well, he's circle, but he's the the same height as width. But your actor might be different. So let's make another variable to see how far it is from the middle of the actor to the side. So I'm going to call it call it side width, for example. And this is going to be very similar to what I did here, right? I'm going to get image. I don't, before I did get image and get height divided by two, right? That gives me uh, half the height. But instead, we instead of the height, what we want to do is the get width divided by two. So this is just going to get uh, half. This is going to be half the width of the actor from the middle to his the side of him. So that's the first thing we're going to do. So put that in right now. Your side width variable. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to go down and uh, down here I have something that's going to tell me, I already have a thing that tells me if there's a platform below us. And we're going to do something very similar um, where we want to get if there's a platform to the right, left, uh, and above us. So I'm going to put in another line down here. I'm going to say actor. And before we had platform up below, so I'll call it platform above. And we want to again get one object at offset. Uh, now again, the difference in x is going to be zero because it's going to be directly above us, not to the left or right. The x is to the left or right. The difference in y, well, before we had ground height plus five. That's from the middle of our uh, actor to the bottom and five more pixels down. We want to do from the middle of our actor to the top and five more pixels up. Well, that that's still half the actor, so we can use our ground height, but since we're going up, I'm going to call it negative ground height. And since we're going up, it's going to be minus five. Uh, this is because when we're in the, in the Y, when we're dealing with the Y, plus is down, minus is up. 
and the class is going to be the same thing we were looking before, which was platform.class. So I can just copy and paste that. Now we need to, so uh, we also need to see if there's a platform to the right and platform to the left of us. Let's deal with just the platform above right now. Let's uh, put in what's going to happen if there's a platform above us. So I'm going to say if platform above not equal null. So if the platform above exists, it won't equal null. If the platform above is not equal null, there's some various things we want to do. The first thing I want to do is I want to stop moving up, but only if I was already moving up. So the first thing I'm going to do is say if the delta y, that is my up, my up and down speed, if delta y is greater than zero, and that means that if I was if I was moving up, if my was moving up, my delta y is going to be a positive. It's going to be greater than zero. So if delta y is greater than zero, first thing I want to do is stop moving up, which is going means I want to set my delta y to zero. Delta y is equal to zero. The next thing I want to do is I want to get my uh, get my platform, my image of the platform. So I'm going to say just as I did below, Greenfoot image, and we'll call it. Um, so now we want to do platform. We want to get the image of the platform above. So I'm going to say platform above dot get image. Okay, so that I'm going to get the image of the platform that's above us. And I want to say um, where the bottom of the platform is. Notice up here we needed to find where the top of the platform is so we could make sure we're, uh, our feet are on the top of the platform. Now we want to make sure the top of our head's on the bottom of the platform. So I'm going to make a variable called bottom of platform, which is the y coordinate of the bottom of the platform, which is. platform above dot get y right so we're going to get the y coordinate of the platform above us and then we're going to before we subtracted half the height of the platform now we're going to add half the half the height of the platform because we're going down so we're going to get the height of the platform, above, get the half the height of the platform and add it to whatever the platform is. That's going to be the y coordinate of the bottom of the platform. And now we're just going to set our new y, which is going to notice, and remember the new y is replacing whatever new y we would have had before that we found up here. So we're, we're overriding, if this happens, we're overriding whatever the new y would have been before we actually set the location of it down here. So we're going to set the, the new y is equal to, and in this case it's going to be the bottom of the platform. I'm going to copy and paste this to avoid misspelling. Bottom of platform plus and in this case we're we're before we subtracted the ground height now we're adding the ground height cuz we're going down and that's going to uh, make sure that we when we hit that when we come into the bottom of the platform we stop so we're going to stop moving and make sure our head is in the bottom of the platform and let's watch what happens when we do that um, I'll compile it I'll put our ball guy in here and I'll start him moving and let's hit the bottom of a platform somewhere, strike right here. Notice what happens, right? I hit my head and I bounce back down, which is exactly what I want, right? And uh, it looks like we're almost done, but we still have a little bit of a problem because I might hit the platform from a side, which is not that easy thing to do, but it does happen. And then it'll look kind of weird when that happens. So you'll notice that didn't really work right when I went in the side of the platform. We want to bounce off the side of the platform too. So let's fix that so that make that make that happen. So we had we detected if we had a platform above and a platform below. Now we just want to see if there's a platform to the right and a platform to the left. So I'll say actor plat 
platform to right, as a platform to the right of us, equals, and we're going to again get one object at offset. Well, in this case, it's the in the x direction because we're looking to the right of us. So that's why you remember we found our side width. We used our side width was just to see if we had something to the side of us. So that's where the side width is going to come in. So I'll say side width, which is a variable which you may remember we just made up here at the beginning of the lesson, which is from the middle of our actor to the either to either side. And we're doing it in a positive direction because we're moving to the right in the x coordinate. The y is 0 because we're looking directly to the right, not up or down. And again, we're looking for platform.class. And of course, we're still looking for a platform.class. So that's the same. That's going to stay the same. And. Then we want to get look for a platform to left. That's almost exactly the same here. So I'm just going to copy and paste this. Oops. Sorry, press the wrong key button there. And so before it was platform to right. Now we're going to look for a platform to left. And all that's going to be, we're looking for the side width, which is the same distance, except we're going to go in the negative direction instead of in the positive direction, because we're in the x going to the left means going down. So now what we need to do is if we see a platform to right and platform to left, then we're going to want to uh, do something. So uh, let's put in if platform to right not equal null. It's the same thing. Then what I want to do is I want to set the delta x. Um, basically, what I'd really like to do is I want to bounce. I want to go the opposite direction as what I was. Instead of stopping, I want to bounce off. So really what I want to do is make the delta x go to the opposite of what it was before. <clears throat> and so we want if, if the delta, basically we want the delta x, if it, we're going to the right, we want the delta x to go to the left, which means we want to make it negative. So what I want to do is I, I want to basically I want to make my delta x negative. So I'll say delta x. The what if I want it to be negative? First of all, I want to get get rid of the sign. Make this make the sign uh, make the what's called the absolute value, which means the thing without the sign, and that's using uh, the math. Uh, module, which is kind of built into Java all the time, math.abs, and that gets me the absolute value of the uh, delta x, whatever it is, which would just make it positive. And then, because we want to make it negative, I'm going to multiply it negative one. We're going to multiply it by negative one, and that's going to so that's going to make my direction equal to uh, in a negative, move me in a negative bouncing direction. That's if we hit a thing on the right. And of course, if we hit a thing on the left, we just want to go the opposite direction. So we can just copy this. This is going to be the same. And we want to make our absolute about our uh, make it positive. So I'm just going to get rid of the times negative one. The absolute value is going to give me a positive value. So that's going to make me bounce off if I hit a thing to the right. Um, so now I'm going to compile it again and start over. And it's going to be kind of hard to see us bouncing off to the left and right, but I'll try and do it because it's kind of hard to see that actually happening. But uh, see if I can get us to bounce off something to the right or left. I think I can do it right here. Um, sorry. Just try and bounce off to the right. Well, it didn't really work. It's a bit a bit hard to actually do, uh, but if we do hit a platform going to the right, we're going to bounce off and go in the opposite direction. It's hard, though. It's hard to see it actually happening. And now all we really have to do here is uh, 
make all we really have to add in here is that um, is to make it so that the whole thing we move inside the screen and then make the whole screen scroll with us and that's going to be a whole challenge to the next lesson uh, but we're pretty close to being done I'll see you in the next lesson